Why did you leave your last job? I've been in HR and employment for over 20 years, and I have a sneaking suspicion that the answer to this is gonna come down to just a couple of things for almost everyone. Yeah, there's special circumstances, guys, but everybody ends up leaving for the same couple of reasons. The primary reason that people leave jobs is a bad manager. So most people won't even start looking for a new job unless their manager is giving them static, micromanaging them, just not a good human being, not giving them um, yearly increases, not getting their back when the situation comes up that they have to. And um, I really, after all of my experience from all these years have come to the opinion that people don't really leave companies. I think they leave managers. I think they leave bad managers. And when a bad manager infects the team, then there's almost no saving it until the company eliminates that manager, which is hard for companies to do. Second reason that I think people leave companies is because of comp meaning that the standard raise in America that is supposed to keep up with inflation, and we all know it doesn't, is 3% a year. That's what most companies give. And if you get 3% a year, then after three, four years, which is the standard tenure for most people at a company in 2024, you're gonna be at nine or 12%. Well, the standard increase to go to a new company in 2024 is 21%. So statistically, if you stay at a company for more than three or four years and they're only giving you a 3% increase bump every year, you're losing over half of the increase that you would get if you left and went to another company. So no smart person is going to do that. There has to be some incentive for people to stay. So what happens is people then start looking, they go out to market, they leave, and the company goes, wow, Bob really had a lot of responsibility and experience. And they don't understand that the cost of losing that employee is so much greater than the fact that you've got to pay the new person ten to $20,000 more because the market has moved. All of Bob's experience, all the projects that he was working on, all of his institutional knowledge, all of his relationships go out the door when Bob leaves. So it's really worth it to companies to try to keep up with 5% a year if they can with their books. Now, if a company is struggling, I get it. But... Um, if they're not and they're doing well, this is really the standard that they have to try to reach if they're able to, especially for high performers. Now, if you've got average performers or low performers, that's a different story. But for high performers, you, you've got to try to keep the comp high enough to make it worth it to them to stay and not go looking. Now, there's other things that happen. People leave for some really different benefits proposal. Maybe you're at a small company. They can't afford a 401k. Your retirement is super important to you. You can go outside of a company to do that. You can put it in the S&P 500 and do okay. But without a company match, it's not worth as much to you, right? So maybe it's a health insurance thing. Maybe you're at a smaller, medium-sized company, and the health insurance is very expensive for you. And so then you're going to go to another company and maybe they're not even paying you more, but they pay a higher percentage of your health insurance. Comp comes in all forms. Comp comes in the form of how much you make, how many PTO days you get, comes in how much the company contributes towards your benefits. All of that stuff adds up to people in your total comp package. It's not just the base pay. So then you go, okay, so if Matt is saying that the basic two reasons that people leave companies are number one, that the manager is bad, and number two, that the comp increases are not keeping up, why does this keep happening at such a fundamental level over and over and over with most companies in the United States? And then you have other companies that are doing great that have this outstanding reputation for keeping people for 10, 15, 20 years because the comp package is in line, they train and develop their managers, and they've just got a great system for being able to grow people to the next level. The other thing that comes is if there is a culture in which you have a very high performing person and they um, are not a kind or a um, decent person to the people that they work with, and management doesn't nip that in the bud, that will infect and infest at least that team, if not the whole organization and its culture, especially if it's a person in a leadership role. So if you've got a person that's a leader that is an incredible salesman or incredible marketer or um, 
you know, just really knows how to make this business work, but they are a nasty person to work with for other people, people will leave. And that costs companies so much more than that person just leaving. And companies have got to start to understand that. So the best thing that a company can do in order to keep its people is number one, do a yearly salary review, make sure that their comp package is in line. Number two, make sure that they do a yearly review with the employee to let them know what they're doing. Let the uh, employee um, have a career path, you know, let them um, air out anything that is bothering them or that they need to work on on the team. And number three, and the most overlooked thing at companies is employee recognition. And I don't mean BS recognition, like great job, Bob. I mean, like, Hey, Bob, in front of the whole team, maybe at your weekly, monthly, quarterly team meeting. Hey, everyone, um, I really want to recognize Bob because he's picked up some extra shifts that were critical to us for some people that we had out with um, with sick or health issues. And he just really stepped up. And I want to say in front of everyone that we're so grateful for all of the hard work that you put in. So not only does that make Bob feel great just to get recognition, it's in front of the team which shows everybody the culture that you want. And it reinforces to the team that this behavior is something that you want to see repeated. See how easy it is to build culture at a company. You simply have to have the managers try, and it's not that hard. Good culture, good management, and a good comp package, and people will stay for most of their whole careers at your company. Move to that. Tell me, guys, why do you think people are leaving their companies, and why did you leave your last company?